Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is a um, full month, okay? This is a full month tarot reading session for you, Scorpio. I hope you are well. I hope you are finding safe and doing good, Scorpio. This reading for today, this is for the Scorpio sign. This is for the Scorpio family. Let us see what is happening towards you guys. What is the... What is coming towards you full month, okay? What is coming towards you guys? What is the full month reading for you? Thank you so much, Scorpio, for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now. And click subscribe. And let's see what's coming towards you for your full month reading, okay? What can I get for Scorpio? 444. Four, four. Okay. You are manifesting Scorpio. 444. Four, four. Wow. This is a very relationship reading. <laughs> Scorpio. Ace of Cups. Hidden energy. You've got the Devil card. And you've got a sad King of Cups in here. Let's see what's coming towards you guys. Okay. So... You started off with the Four of Wands. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy in here, Scorpio. The Four of Wands, it speaks about... Um, the Four of Wands speaks about passion. And it is done within um, like four corners of a, like... There's passion in a place, okay? Because it looks like, you know, it looks like like corner or a home or a room or it could be an office workplace. So there's a very strong presence of being passionate about a relationship that you have towards someone at home, at work. Or where you pretty, where where you spend, um, you know, eight to five hours, four, five, eight hours, okay? Because four of ones, four of pentacles, four, four, and you've got the lovers card in here. So with the four of pentacles in here, it's kind of a question like this month, this full month. There's a part of you where you're questioning yourself, or maybe you're discovering. Um, is this where I want my passion? Sorry, guys, there is a dog. I'm just going to close this. Yeah, sorry. So, yeah, it, it's, it's my neighbor's dog. I'm um, sorry for the noise. Um, so, four of wands, four of pentacles. So, you're holding off to a four of, cause four of wands. You're very passionate with this, blah, blah, blah. However, you have doubt. Is this where you want to belong? Or is this really where you see, where you want to see yourself, you know, in terms of longevity? Because you've got here the lover's card. So something is changing your mind. It speaks about passion and then the lover's card. So it is with the four of wands and four of pentacles, Scorpio, it, it, it is giving me the vibe that for example, you are at a place or a relationship or a work or a business where is this where my passion lies? You know, is this how my life is going to be? Because there's a part of you that's not contented with a specific situation at home because of like four corners it looks like walls it looks like a house it looks like an office but four of pentacles four of wands you're wondering whether it's time for you to have a change of scenery uh that you need maybe to shift you know your there's a there's a there's a there's something within you scorpio four of wands four of pentacles where I would say this is good, okay? This is really good. 
you know, this is okay, this is good, but this is much better, the lover's card, okay? So, because this is the challenge, the challenge in here, four of pentacles, you are at the place or a situation or sitting in an energy where do I see myself in here, four of wands, for a very long time, you know? And part of you, somehow, you're okay right now. Like, you're quite sorted. Like, four of, pen four of wands, four of pentacles. Okay, I'm going to settle for this situation of, or place right now. But in the future, definitely something is there that you're wanting a lover's card here. You know? Let's look at the four of wands. Something tells me that for now, you're going to settle with this. But you've got a future plan. To look for this the lover's card you know i mean it's a feeling where okay this pays the bill this is okay this is fine but come after four months you don't want to see yourself in there like you want to get out you eventually would like to go to the lover's card energy you know something that you fall in love you know look at that this is where you want Look at that, how amazing it is to be like, this is passion, but it's not the passion that you feel like you're going to settle for this for the rest of your life. Like something tells me this is for now, this is the future, okay? So there's a situation, there's a person, there's an energy where, okay, I'm just going to sit here for now. This is my for now because... I want to have a lover's card moment or I want I want to have a soulmate contract or I want something like this. You want something like this, the lover's card. The lover's card is not just passionate, but this is soul contract. This is very deep level of kind of understanding each other. It, this could be romantic where you probably will settle for this and then eventually when you're ready, you will go for the lover's. For some of you guys, you might be like, okay, I'm just going to focus on work, stability. And when I'm ready, I'm going to really just connect to one lovers. Maybe you're going to date. But something tells me, whatever this is, you're not, you won't stay here. In, in the month, in this month, you will have like an agreement within you. Because Four of Pentacles... You you know the plan. Like for our pentacles, you know that you won't stay here. And eventually you will stay with the lover's card. Yeah. But you're not telling anybody. So you could be working in a company where, okay, for now, I'm going to stay here. It is going to pay the bills. It, it's, it's okay. It's good. You know, but I want more than the four of wands. I want the lover's card. Okay. You're, you're, you're kind of giving me that this month, you are not, you're very careful into jumping into something out of the four of wands. Like, I don't know, maybe, this is the future, the lover's card. This is where you want to go. You don't know how to go to this yet. But one thing is for sure, you will go there. You will go there. Yeah. Yeah, the king of cups. The knight of cups. And you've got the ace of went ace of wands you've got the two of wands and the higher of one card yes so for some of you guys you're at a place you're at a location you're at a job you're at the you know you're in a relationship or you're in a connection where i'm gonna stay here you know and eventually when the time is right there's something that you're like there's something in here that you're going to, you're wanting to complete. But eventually, it's also like an ambition. Okay? You're very ambitious. You won't settle for the four of wands. You want the lover's card, you know. So, okay. Yeah, ten of pentacles. You definitely want the best for you. And you know where you're going. There is something about project or business or maybe a connection where this month you will not I would say you're being very careful. Yeah. Because the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, you're going to focus on this. 
you're going to reshape it you're going to complete it and when it's time you're going to go to your soulmate to your soul contract to the next big project the the next job that you will you would want to stay longer okay this card wanted to come out yeah the star card you could be dealing with a um aquarius but something tells me this month you're really listening to your intuition and you're you're avoiding to be i would say you're you're practical and also passionate and you're not going to jump out of conclusion like you're not just going to go for it like you, you won't have that impulsiveness um in this energy king of cups knight of cups you know king of cups it downgraded to the knight of cups so eventually there's something that would be completed if this is not you this is the person that you're dealing with yeah ace of swords two of pentacles i would say something you will you will complete something and you will eventually reunite with your soulmate your soul contract or the job that you want the person that you want the life that you want this is something temporary there's something about this month that it's temporary and you're going to move over um the lover's card and the star card and you're going to stay here for so long yeah the chariot card. you're going to move definitely so there's something that you're going to keep temporary i'm gonna be here but once you have completed it, when it, once it's done, you're going to move to a place or reunite with a person or a job that you will stay there. You will stay there for a very long time. You've got the Hierophant card in here. So it's, yeah, you're going to stay here for, for, for a very long time. So something tells me that is one of your, you, you're not impulsive. You're very, very strategic. You're passionate and very strategic. And you control like mind over heart in here. Okay. And then the next reading, Scorpio, is that you've got the Four of Cups. You have an offer. With the Four of Cups, you have an offer. And you've got a Queen of Wands. Okay. Let's look at the Four of Cups in here. I feel like this is a... It could be a romantic situation, Scorpio. You have an offer... But you're playing Cupid with a, with a Queen of Wands in here. Mm. Ace of Cups. Yeah, you have an offer of love, an offer of attention, an offer of support. Because this is emotions, okay? It could be it could be a friend. It could be a lover. But in your circle, in your in your contacts, in your circle, um, there is a person that would offer you something. And I feel like you're playing Cupid with this one. You know, because you are the Queen of Wands in here, the Strength card. Yeah, you're very stubborn. I feel like you're teaching this person a lesson. You're playing hard to get. Because you've got a Two of Cups, eventually you will give in. But I don't know why you're playing hard to get with this person. Oops. Ah, Eight of Wands. You, mo you want them to pursue you. You want them to show to you. Um... It's a feeling where this friend of yours, they disappointed you. And so it's kind of obvious this person disappointed you. And you made them aware that you disappointed me. So I'm just going to go here. You're just going to stay there. It's a person. It's a person who disappointed you. And I don't know. I feel like you blocked this person already. The will of fortune. Like for me, like I'm lucky without you because you're not looking at them. So you kind of move. It could be a lover could be a lover it could be a lover yeah let's see you have five of wands like this person as much as you would like them they bring trouble like this person it's it always creates conflict in your life like i mean you you like them you love them there's this but they also create a lot of conflict in your life they bring they bring heavy energy scorpio who's this person yeah four of wands it could be that they are no longer available. Maybe with the four of wands, something tells me they've committed themselves to other person. And then whoever this person is, it could be a lover. I'm really getting like a very lover's energy. So there's a person who would offer you. And you're playing hard to get. You're very stubborn. And you don't want to deal with them. Four of Wands because they offered it to someone else and now they're here. Yeah. 
So Knight of Pentacles, they're offering you something. A Knight of Pentacles. You feel like a second choice. Yeah, that's the feeling. It could be a lover. It could be someone you dated. It could be a person who... There's a feeling that, you know... Because you're the Queen of Wands and they never choose you. And you know that you should be. You're handpicked. But they never chose you. And now they're giving something to you and you don't like it. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. This person could be someone at home or at work. Eight of, to say eight, eight of Pentacles is like eight to five job or a place where you stay. Eight to five, you know, or 24 hours. Something that you stay longer than eight hours. So, but there's a two of cups in here. What's the two of cups for Scorpio, please? The page of wands oh okay the seven of swords and the emperor card okay i would say whoever this energy or person is they're coming to you and you feel like you're the second choice okay? you're not the first choice actually you're not the first choice you're not the first choice and the first choice it didn't work out so they're coming to you queen of wands and you're pushing back or telling this person or energy that, you know, there's a bit of spite coming from you. Like your stinger, your stinger in here is on Scorpio. Because your queen of wands, like, you know, I thought you're not, I, I thought you your choice is to go there, not to me. So you would constantly, I'm, I'm feeling like you will constantly remind them, isn't it that you chose that over me? Or you took that side over whatever we shared together. So there's a part of you that now, you know, um, there's a part of you that's somehow upset, disappointed. And there's a part of you that you're making a valid point. Why now? You know, you're holding the sunflower. Now this person, the page of wands, the judgment card, the seven of swords, they're, they become an emperor. Let's look at the page of wands because they're going to, yeah, nine of swords. What's the judgment card? Two of swords. What's the seven of swords? The page of cups. What's the emperor? The knight of swords. Yeah. I'm still seeing you reconcile with this person, Scorpio. Somehow, I feel like you're playing Cupid. Someone has disappointed you. You're playing Cupid. Heavy, heavy playing Cupid. Let's look at the two of cups. Yeah, four of cups. Like four of cups, four of cups. This is a heavy playing hard to get. Because um, this is the thing, Scorpio. Whoever this person is, they know their, they know the witness. Um, I'm seeing you pushing back. But they will come to you every week, every month, until you, <laughs> until you're convinced. Yeah. Look at that Scorpio card, death card. Like this person will, will really get through to you. Like they want to see you at the end of the tunnel. They want you to, they want you to be there. Hmm. Can you believe it? It's also a Scorpio card. The thing is, you notice that I could not straightforwardly advise because it's ever changing because there's a part of you Scorpio that let me play hard to get and then they will pursue you again and then no I'm going to block them and then you're gonna unblock them and then so you also you 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 Scorpio appears to be confused also on whether you're gonna accept it or you're not gonna accept it what's strong about the reading Scorpio is that you have not forgiven them you haven't forgotten what they did. You haven't forgiven them. You have a wall up towards this person. That's the reason why you can't accept them. You still have strong feelings for this person because you have a two of cups. But you can't, you're not ready to accept them. Like this is a very strong love and hate relationship. Like a, there's a chase. I'm seeing up, up until November time. Yeah, page of swords. We're going to leave it. Maybe I'm going to leave it, Scorpio, because all I'm seeing in here is you're indecisive too. 
There are some days that you like it. There's some days that you don't like it. There's some days that they feed. Like there's some days that when this person pursue you, it feeds your ego. It feels good. And then when they're gone, you come around to them. And they come back. And then you want you want this person to pursue you. It feeds your ego. It feels good. So that's the vibe I'm getting in here as of this month. But I feel like it would change. You know, it, it, it keeps on changing. But basically, you have a stinger towards this person. Okay, the last reading is you have an offer of love, Ace of Cups. But there is a devil card. It could be a Scorpio. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Because this, this situation is actually, it could also be a situation in your work. Like, there are some days that you would take the side of your manager. There are some days that you would take the side of the other manager. Like, it makes me feel, Scorpio, that you're playing the game. You know, in a company or, you know, there's always gossip and politics. Kind of go with the flow in this reading. Okay, whoever is the like the famous one you stick around there this one is okay this one is not in you go to the famous one so yeah you are blending you're also on and off because i feel like the person the situation also on and off so this is very inconclusive it keeps on changing in inconclusive but it's always trying but it's an inconclusive yeah now the last reading is you've got an offer of love definitely from someone in the past it could be a capricorn let's see this is unfinished business what they want from you five of swords okay what they want to clarify from you they want to take a risk why do they want to take a risk with you they've got a four of swords okay this card what they want from you seven of wands the High Priestess, and they've got the Empress card, and the Three of Pentacles. So this person who's coming from the past, you still have some sort of unfinished business with them because there's a Five of Swords in here. This person, Scorpio, is like, Scorpio, let's forget everything in the past and let's start all over again. Clean slate, you know. But it's hard for you to do that. It's easy for them to say, forget everything and be with me they're the king of cups like this person is i know scorpio that you love me forget everything and be with me but that's so easy for easy for them to say because they're the one who hurt you you know let's see what is the outcome scorpio and this king of cups you've got the five of pentacles something is broken already two cards and confused yeah and the seven of pentacles you might consider it yeah nine of cups i feel like you don't want to leave any any you know like you you, you want you don't want to you you don't want to leave it without without looking like you want to look at it if you reject you want to look at it if you will reject it you want to look at it you want to feel if they're telling you the truth you might look at it consider it but you're not gonna i'm seeing you not going full time with this personal situation you know the the first reading this reading and this reading it makes me feel like you like seeing someone or somebody beg or there's an enjoyment coming from the queen of wands because this king of cups who's offering you something they're also sad so your stinger, Scorpio, is so up. Yeah. Your stinger is just so up up there that you like, I don't know, maybe this people, person, situation disappointed you and you like and enjoy and it's such a compliment to see them say sorry or chase you, pursue you. Yeah. It's a game. You are going to play a bit of a game in here. You're on for something, Scorpio. Um, it's not a very heavy energy. I feel like it's more of you won't take it seriously. I feel like you know this people, person, situation. They have history with you. You won't take it seriously until such time that they prove themselves well to you. Most especially this King of Cups. 
because I have a feeling seven of seven of pentacles you keep like I'm feeling like yeah I'm yeah okay let's try and then you detach look so you're kind of playing game like this person's like come on you know like let's date again sure and then you never message so there's a spite coming from you so you're gonna confuse them yeah whoever i mean something tells me that you're not just gonna play the game you're going to confuse them like you're gonna say yes but then the next day you're gonna disappear so you're gonna confuse the person that confused you in the past mm. Seems to be payback time. But Scorpio, take it easy. Your stinger is on. Don't play with your food. And um, I'll see you soon, guys. You have a great day.